Hey guys, thought I would outline um, what I bought to install a bypass oil filtration system on my 2002 excursion with the 7.3 diesel. Um, I found a video by uh, Russell Roberts. If you if you uh, get on YouTube and you type in 7.3 oil bypass filter. Um, and then this date, uh, it'll, his video will pop up. I think he did a great job, and uh, thanks Russell for, for making that video. So um, a lot of what I did, I based off of his video, and I did a little bit of tweaks here and there, and um, I just wanted to uh, um, kind of highlight what I did. Um, so... I will show you um, underneath my truck and we'll, we'll look at the oil as well. I've been driving my truck for a while now with this kit on there and I'm very happy with it. So um, here's, uh, here's basically the numbers and, and I'll show you this on the, on the engine too. This is, this is the side of the engine. So this here is the, the main oil filter here. And right to the left of the oil filter is uh, a plug that you can take out here. And that's that will be the out. And this out is going to go through. Um, I installed a, a flow control valve here. And um, down below I have all this highlighted what it is and what I paid for it. So... Um, so this uh, th this is a quarter inch NPT uh, fitting, and I bought the Russell 66440, um, and then it goes to this flow control valve, and on each side of the valve is two is is a quarter inch NPT, which is Russell 66440 on each side, and then the hose that will connect to that comes with the kit so these uh, 66440s which is right here will uh, will screw right into uh, right right into here so it's got a it's, with the kit I'll show you the here the kit uh, this one right here on Amazon by Q QP Sandroda however you pronounce that um, but there's a lot of people that sell this kit. Uh, if, if you type in 6AN, which is the size of the hose and fi uh, the hose fittings, 12 foot stainless steel line with six pieces. So six pieces includes two uh, 45 ends. So ends meaning these end, end pieces. There's two straights. There's two 45s. And then there's two 90s. So we'll see where those go underneath my truck in just a few minutes. But these are the straights. And you can use these straights to hook up to here. Um, the 45s, I, I'm using the 45s from that kit to hook up here and here, which we'll see under the truck. So if you buy that kit, those 45s from the kit will... We'll hook up to these Russell 66440s, this one, and then the Russell 66460, which is a 3 8 NPT on the in. So out, the out goes to the in, and then the in goes to the out, or out goes to the in, however you want to look at that. So, And then on this... Uh, Filter mount here, which I have highlighted, uh, is uh, if you go on eBay, if you type if you type in Fram XG thirty nine seventy six A Ram Ford Cummins diesel remote engine filter mount one inch dash sixteen. So the this bypass oil filter from Amsoil the the threads on this filter is a one inch sixteen. Um, so basically, if you type all that in, it should pop up on eBay. Um, and then 
on the top of that filter mount, you use two 3 8 NPT Russell 660-460s. So that'll be a grand total of three. Two will be used on here. The third one will be used up here going uh, back into the engine. The, the oil will flow back into the engine. So um, the purpose of this uh, flow is you can adjust how much flow that you want to go through there. Um, it's an optional item. Um, Russell did, didn't uh, put that on his truck, and um, I guess I elected to put it on mine. So uh, I guess do your research. Um, I know the diff different places out there say you don't need it, but I decided to put it on. So, but that the total price of this is would be two eighty nine seventy nine, and that would be if you didn't have a cutter to cut the hose, if you didn't have duct tape, and if you didn't have Teflon tape. So, um, and if you didn't want to put this Parker F four hundred S on there, it would be um, a lot less. So. Anyway, um, but I wanted to kind of share a little bit when you, when you, uh, I, I did try to cut this with a cutoff wheel and did not have any success with that. I think I did on one of the cuts, but it seems to work a lot better using this cutter here. And um, this cutter is Whisk Cutter 0890 CSJW. I uh, found this right at Home Depot. Um, they had they sell like electrical tools there, and I found that in that section for like seventeen ninety five, I think. So I put down twenty bucks on that. Seemed to work pretty good. You you just wrap um, duct tape around the hose, real tight, and then you take the cutter and you you cut it, and uh, the duct tape will hold hold all of this stainless steel braiding from uh, fraying on you. It, it's very strong material and it wants to just fray on you. So when I went to go put this on, you can just, um, this here end deal will stick right on there. And so I, uh, I basically left like a half an inch. So this is, this is the duct tape here. And I, I used you know this end of of the hose, and this this was the leftover. So about a half an inch. Basically, you you slip this on there, and I left I left the tape on there. So I wrapped it around a couple of times, made the cut, and I I stuck this on there. So there will be like a half inch of material on there. So that way, when you put this on, it'll cover up the duct tape. Not totally necessary. That's just how I did it. And uh, so this is adjustable. Um, we can go underneath my rig, and we'll see how many turns I have it backed off. Um, but after I initially started the truck, I had a, a container underneath the bypass filter mount. I didn't have the filter on there. And I started the truck to see how much the flow rate was. And I adjusted it to um, what people were saying on the web. I'm trying to remember what that was. Basically, is it a half a quarter minute, um, one quarter minute of flow rate? So um, that way you, you can decide how much flow you want and adjust it accordingly. Um, on these kits that you buy through Amsoil and whatnot, they have a restrictor that's screwed into the bypass oil filter mount. It's a little threaded plug with a hole in the center, and that will give you your restriction. So if you go that route and want to pay, I don't know what, what those kits are going for, 360 or however much it is, you wouldn't need this. It, it comes right on the oil filter mount, so... Well, uh, so let's see what else. Here's, so here's a total breakdown. Three, 
of these 3 8 inch NPT Russell 660-460, three of the 440s, and the Parker flow control valve. We got that. I already talked about that. Let's see. The and then the filter. Now this just depends on uh, what some of you guys already sell AMS oil. So this is probably going to be at at least twenty bucks less. Um, and what else? So yeah, that just that was just me adding up all the cost. So uh, pop out to the garage and show you what it looks like on there, and uh, uh, show you the oil too. Okay, so under the truck here, I uh, spent a lot of time cleaning cleaning uh, the side of my engine here, and uh, let's see if I can get a better shot at this. So there's the one on the left there, the Russell uh, 440, that's the quarter inch NPT on the left by the oil filter up there and then the Russell 4, uh, 440 460 is here the three A's and then you can see from the kit that I highlighted earlier on those are the 45 45 degree um, ends that hook up there and they uh, it's worth mentioning that they swivel so Right now it doesn't really move because it's the hose is secured. But let's see. So these will move around and they don't leak at all. I haven't had any trouble with it at all. So, um, so that's the side of the engine. So this, the one on the right, the oil flows back into the motor here. So, um, now we're looking. I put the uh, so here's where I have that uh, flow control valve, um, and I I turn this two and a quarter. So if you have this turned all the way off, you will turn on my at least on my truck the flow I have it at is two and a quarter full turns. So. So right now it's at two and a quarter. So if you turn it up, one, two, and well, it's almost two and a half. One, let's see. One, two, two and a half. There it is. That's where it's set at. So I've got that all um, tie strapped to the frame. I'm going to be careful to not have it dangling next to the uh, the front wheel drive drive shaft. If your rig has uh, front wheel drive, or I should say four wheel drive. Now if we go to the back where these hoses are here, I made it a nice little bracket and drilled a couple holes here in the frame, bolted all that on there, and just uh, use the Teflon tape here. So these are the 3 8 inch Russell 440-460 that screw into this oil filter mount. And then here's the, the two 90s from that kit. So, and then here's the Amsoil EABP 100. Um, 
let's see I did make a video on my also with the uh, fuel filter here uh, if you want to do a search on my videos um, this is working pretty awesome too so well let's check uh, let's check the oil see what the oil looks like So I've been driving the truck now. Um, it's got a, probably about 2,000 miles on this oil since I've done this. So that's what the oil looks like um, looks pretty clean I guess I can't complain yeah I I kind of didn't want to make a video on this right away because I wanted to make sure it was gonna work pretty good and everything I, I hate to tell you guys about something and well actually if I'd have made a video right away and it ended up not working I would have just deleted the video or um, and then I put this coolant bypass system on from diesel site so um, other than that um, maybe you guys can comment to me I'm thinking about putting the severe duty air filter system on my truck um, if I do that I'll comment below if I end up doing that so but um, I saw that on Riff Raff Diesel uh, Clay's got uh, the severe duty kit so I was thinking about um, doing away with this uh, haven't decided yet but I put this K&N on here in the beginning so um, well, so I'll give you a little bit of bonus material here if, uh, if you guys are still watching um, I put a bypass on my little uh, Volkswagen here too. This one I actually added a um, oil oil pressure gauge on here. So, um, and and I did not put the the uh, Parker uh, flow adjustment on this one. So this one has uh, a little pancake uh, deal that is from Earl's. I think I either got it from Jeg's or Summit, but I put that on here as well and uh, haven't had any trouble. So bypass has been working great with uh, buying those kits. So the kit came with, you know, like I said before, two nineties and then and then the two forty fives, which you see the, the red fittings down there. So, I guess that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, if you like my video, please give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe for more. Um, you'll be making more videos. And uh, thanks and have a great day. See ya.